hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mwah, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it so today i'm going to be talking about the books that i read in april i feel like i did so good because i need to pat myself on the back and say gracie you did good but also i didn't really read all the books i picked but yeah so i read six physical books and i read six kindle books so that's that's a win-win i really need to finish my physical tbr guys oh my god okay so i'm going to show you the ones that i did not get to then we continue card well i already started yesterday night but obviously i cannot finish it before the end of the month because today is the end of the month empress of the world the right move i didn't get to it also although i wish i did from look of with love and family lore so that already gives you guys the idea of the books that i actually really read this month the first book i read is good girl bad blood this was a body read with my friend tosin and it continues straight from uh, the book one a good girl's guide to mother it talked about peep you know in book one peep solved the mother but this time around she didn't want to continue with that kind of uh, attitude because it made everybody hate her the way she was asking questions and putting her, her mouth in everybody's business so a lot of people were really really angry with her so she decided that she's not going to and also the fact that you know in the book one something happened it's put her at a risk and so she decided that she's not going to do the old detective kind of thing anymore but something happens somebody very close to her i think maybe her neighbor's brother was missing and everybody else felt that it's it's normal because the guy always goes like that sometimes he will just disappear and come back so the junior brother collins was like I, i'm sure my brother is is he didn't just go i feel like this one is different i feel like something is wrong with him so peep decided to just step in and now she has a podcast so as she's doing that she's updating the old progress on our podcast i feel like that was a mistake because we understand in the book one she solved it first then she uploaded on podcast but this one as she's solving she's uploading on the podcast so a lot of people came up with their own opinions and all that anyway at the end of the day man and I, I didn't say coming i didn't say coming but i felt like so, so many things were really really very deep because i didn't expect the end to end like that you know i felt like it should have been given a second chance but well well it's sad so i gave this a five stars i really really liked it honestly oh and i also used the audio book while reading this the next book i read is that sick love i read on my kindle oh my god you guys that book is a dark romance and it talks about <laughs> oh my god Aero and Bryony. So Bryony is a good girl she is in the ministry so she wants to be one of those eye stuffs in the church but the church has some dark secrets and Ero was actually sent to kill her but instead he started stalking her and he fell in love with her and then things just went crazy from there i really enjoyed the book but ah guys i don't know is my friend said this is how dark romance are normally like that the the whole smut is crazy like a lot of smut i was just skipping 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 because i I was reading outside. I went to the gym with my Kindle, so I was just skipping, skipping, skipping because who oh, reads smut outside? Anyway, it was really, really crazy. But there's something I really like about the book: the fact that it shows the dirty secret of the church. It shows the fact that all these people just use holiness and the scripture. They manipulate it and make you make it look like they are doing the right thing, and then they turn themselves to God. Anyway, the book was really, really good. I gave it four point five stars. Ah. <sighs> But it was crazy. I thought Ero was sick. Then I later realized that Brownie is sicker. That girl is something else. And then uh, there was another thing where Ero trained her how to fight. I felt like the duration was not enough for her to be so good like that. The way they portrayed her. But yeah, regardless. And then the third book I read is The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. This was a, a, an ARC sent to me on NetGalley. I didn't see it before it was published so it, it's crazy because i read it after it has been published anyway anyway guys that book was so funny it's so funny i just finished it yesterday and i'm so oh my god okay so it's about derek and nora nora is the sweetest most sunshiny person i've ever seen in my well i've, I've ever imagined in my life because the girl is crazy sweet and then derek is a football player but um he broke his ankle 
and he went on rehabilitation to like fix his ankle so he's scared that they will kick him out of the club and stuff like that and he and Nora were dating when they were in school but they broke up because of some reasons and so she is now his agent and she's helping him better his career and you know he's feeling like he's going to be kicked out so he has this low self-esteem and stuff there's no trope that you not find inside this book you see well, one bed trope enemies to lovers you see second chance you see guys Anyway, it was very, very sweet. I kept laughing. This girl, Nora, has all these catchphrases that are so funny. I gave it a 4.5 stars. I gave it 4.5 stars because I felt like the end was dragged out a little bit. I, I was getting tired of the old repetitive. I'm not sure if it lost me. I felt like they should have just talked about it. But besides that, it was perfect. 4.5 stars. Perfect. So, guys, the next book I read was Just for the Summer by... Abby Jimenez. I think this is my, going to be my second book by... Is this second or third? Oh, it's my third book because I read the uh, Part of Your World. Then I read the novella in this... Uh, the Improbably Meet Cute novella. So I read Abby Jimenez's own too. And it was actually really, really nice. But this one, just for the summer. So it's about Justin and Emma. Justin believes that he has a course that anybody that he dates, after they break up, the person finds their own love of their life and then they live happily ever after so he's always single and then emma too has that issue so they met on one site like this where he wrote it and so they decided to click but emma is a nurse she's a travel nurse so she's always traveling around while justin is a software developer kind of tech bro vibes so they started talking like that like that and i really really liked it honestly it was really really sweet oh most guys most especially the beginning and and it was so funny because there's this giant billboard in front of Justin's house. And then Justin has this very ugly dog, according to the, what they said, okay? But it's cute. And he named the dog after his best friend because his best friend moved out of... Like, mm, you you guys, I'm, I'm, I think I'm about to spoil it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually really funny. I really, really enjoyed it. I like the old banter in the beginning and everything. But around the middle, it got dragged because then they were bringing in trauma. Then there was trauma. Um, Emma has trauma. Then Justin also has his own trauma. But I felt like um, Justin actually handled his own trauma very, very well than Emma. Emma pissed me off. And then I was asking one question. I was like... Why is that when people see good things, they will run in the opposite direction? Why do people do that? Most selling in books, basically. But me, if I see something that is good for me, I am going to it. I'm not going to say, oh, I am I am not ready. Blah, blah, blah. I will follow the good thing. We go together. Anyway, it was really, really sweet. I gave it a four stars. I liked Maddie. That's Emma's friend. Oh, my gosh. She's... Ah, oh, she's like the best character in that book. Honestly, she's like my favorite, aside from Justin, because Justin I really, really like, and uh, Maddie. Oh my God, both of them, both of them. And there's a little bit of what happened in part of your world there. I didn't really get it on time. It was at the end. I was like, wait, 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 wait. This guy, this guy. Okay, I know you. I know you. Yeah. It was a body read with promise. So I really, really enjoyed myself. Then, oh my God, yes, I read Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Gamos. Do you know how long I've been putting this off? I'm so happy that I got into it. Honestly, guys, this was infinity stars for me because it was so fun. I listened alongside with the audio. It's about this um, less lady in chemistry, Elizabeth Zoff. Zot, not Zoth. What will I say? She's a chemist, or actually, you know, she wants to improve in her chemistry profession. But as a woman, it's hard. So you get to see how all that went for her, how ladies are being, you know, demined. Is there a word like that? But how ladies are being regarded as weak and they are they, they they are meant to be in the kitchen and if you get pregnant out of wedlock then you are an alert and stuff like that stuff like that but this lady this lady see in the beginning i'm not going to lie i felt like okay okay i was enjoying it, it was funny but that me do when she started the cooking that's why she has this television because she was on tv and when she started all that oh my god i, I could not keep my laughter i was so invested in the story i i had to open my eyes like this to finish this book Guys, it was so good. Honestly, Infinity Stars, I love it. I love it. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you than I love it. Yes. Then I decided to read this novella, um, Kill Joy by Ollie Jackson. I already read, you know, the book one and book two. And I didn't know that this was supposed to be the 0 0.5, like the first book you should read before those ones. Because it explains how uh, Pip decided to choose that topic she chose in book one as a project work. I'll 
how it all happened honestly i had this up guys it's very very short 100 and maybe 130 pages or something and it was so so nice when they were playing a game and then in this game they had to discover who the murderer was and it was so good honestly i ate it up but there's one thing i have to say and i don't like him I don't like ants. I don't know. It's so annoying. Anyway, aside that, I gave it a 4.5 stars, guys. It was so good because it felt intense. I know it's a novel and people always say, but because I already knew these characters, I was already drawn to these characters, so I felt like it's worth a 4.5. What is that? So, guys, the next book I read was Six Scotched Roses. This is the novella after The Serpent of the Wing of Nights. I, I, I always mix up this. <laughs> I always mix up the title because it's quite long. It's actually a long title, but Serpent of the Wings of Tail and Night. Oh, I don't know, Sha. So basically, um, this one is different from the first book. It talks about Vale and Lilith, which is different from Oriya and Rain in book one. So I was a little bit thrown off. I was a little bit confused. I was like, okay, what am I reading about? Is it the same story? Is it not the same story? Anyway, it was kind of like the same story. This one is about Vale. Vale is a vampire and uh, like a lord. And Lilith comes from a small town where there's a there's a curse. So she's trying to cure the curse. So she went to meet Vale and she was giving him roses and these roses have a very very significant meaning so they made a pact and things went on from there it's actually really, really romantic too because i really like their love because this one was this one bloomed this one we saw how you know yeah there was chemistry okay there was chemistry i gave this one a four stars i really really enjoyed it in fact i enjoyed it more than the book one to be quite honest well there was a lot more like it felt like i was reading a whole book but this book was just a novella okay so the next book i read was the dead romantics by ashley poston i have to say that this book was below expectation for me because i went in with this high expectation because i wanted to read the seven years sleep but i was like okay let me hold on let me chill i hope my microphone is still working because this one okay so so i was like let me hold on let me chill let me read this one first since it's the first book but they don't correlate but i just wanted to read it first regardless so this one talks about benji benji is a editor and then florence florence is a ghost writer for Anne. and another thing about florence is that she can see ghosts so something's happened where ben i think benji died so she was seeing his ghost and then there was a plot twist at the end with Anne. It was really, really nice. The only the only thing I liked was the plot twist at the end. And I also liked Caviar. Caviar is Florence's... Um, Florence's... Does that make sense? Florence's um, brother. He was trying to guess who the ghost writer was. And I really liked how it was just so funny about it. It was actually really cool. I liked those parts. But every other part, I felt like the chemistry between Benji and Florence was not really there. I felt like the story was not focused on them it was more focused on her and it was only one pov so maybe that is why i felt that way i don't even know but i gave it a 2.5 stars then the next book i read which is nash's ash <laughs> so promise really likes this book and she was like okay i should check it out it's really light read it's really funny yes it's funny it's about um millicent and hollis millicent is taking mrs nash's ash to uh like long lost love lc uh she met her in the, during the war but they got separated kind of kind of kind of because uh queer women were not really accepted in those days so she died then Melissa wants to actually take her ashes to the woman so uh she meets with hollis hollis is a grumpy the grumpiest but he's grumpy and cute because he even cares for her so we we get to see how everything goes out they go on a road trip together and then their feelings start to board and millicent is actually a super was a child superstar so some things she's actually struggling with but this book was a light read it was so fun mostly being in millicent's head oh my god that girl I, I wrote in my review that she, it's like she has ADHD because her mind is always elter skelter and everywhere. But the only thing I didn't like was she, she felt like a childish character to me with the way she was acting in some places. She felt really, really childish. I liked her mindset, but I didn't feel so much. I gave it a 3.5 stars. It was actually a really, really funny read. I, and I flew through it in a day. The next book I read is Killer Instincts by Jennifer Lynn Burns. It actually continues from The Naturals, directly from The Naturals. The way The Naturals ended, then like six months after, 
I think that's where we start this. It's the same f- concept, the fact that the FBI doesn't want to involve the naturals in solving their crimes, but at, this, at the end of the day, they still are ended up using them, you know, because actually, instincts. So this one actually focuses more on Dean, and honestly, I really, really like Dean, and in this book, I was able to see more development in Dean and Michael, how the two of them's relationship actually changed. I really, really like that part because in the book one, I was not really happy with the way things were going, but in this book, I really liked how it, and it went on. And another thing, I don't know if you guys are curious about the romantic, you know, in the book one, I was not sure who Cassie was going to pick. I don't know. I was actually frustrated the way she was going back and forth and back and forth. In Killer Instinct, she finally picks somebody and I already, I had this inkling that she was going to pick this person. But at the same time, the other person was so nice, you know? And then I'm like, which one is she going to pick, you know? But she ended up making a choice and I was glad that she did. So I gave it a five stars. The next book I read is this one, The Marriage Class by Adeswa Oman Wonkeji. I don't know why it took me so long to pick up this book to read, but I'm so glad that it did. So it talks about 10 couples. Um, These couples are about to get married, so they need to take this marriage class. So the marriage class is now the Coco. It's now where the old Bala Blue would happen. So in these 10 classes, they learn so many different things. I really, really enjoy actually learning some things, some new things about marriage. they are actually things I already know, but it was more buttressed by the examples these couples portray. So each of these couples have their own personalities, their own problems, and we start to unravel it ourselves. So I got really, really riled up because there were so many couples that I hated. Oh, shit. <laughs> You guys you need to see my review i was so freaking pissed one of the persons i was pissed off with the most was eric and in my review i said you should not come close to my humble abode because i am going to mm, 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 you know <laughs> so i gave it a five stars the next book i read is this one ace of spades by farida abike imide this is like hmm I don't even know how to explain. So these two people, this is Chiamaka and this is Devon. They are the only black people in their school. And somebody's trying to destroy their lives, basically. So you go with them, seeing how who is behind all this thing, why they're doing it. It actually took a crazy turn to be honest. I didn't expect it to be that reason, but it turned out to be that reason, and it is very disgusting and very annoying. But yeah, I just, I felt like I was the one being stabbed in the back, you know. I felt like I was the one being betrayed by my friends, you know. All these things that were happening to them were so annoying. At one point, I couldn't even drop the book because I was like, what is happening? Like, who is revealing their secrets? So many secrets that could actually even kill them were being released. The beginning was very uh, fast-paced because I was invested in their personalities. I like Devon's personality. He's so sweet and soft. Chiamaka is boss lady kind of vibe and she knows what she wants. She's going for it. She's going to kill anybody in her way, that kind of vibe. And then you start to see how they start to accept their blackness also. Mm, it's really good. The ending was a little bit rushed in my own opinion, but that didn't deviate from the whole point that this book is actually a five-star book. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. So that's it, guys. Tell me which one you've read, what your ratings are, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I, yeah, I really, really had a very, very good reading month. I had a lot of five stars. I was very, very shocked that I'll get a lot of five stars, but it's, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. So thank you so much for watching. Jesus. I, I keep trying, forgetting that I'm so silly rated. <sighs> I just realized I've used yellow shit in this old wrap up video <laughs> different yellow shirts what it causes people is agents yes she's not